So yeah, guys, phase two of the indoor cooking video. After I get finished with my cooking, or I could actually put the table here while I'm cooking. It would probably give me a better, a better area to work surface. But I like things a little lower when I'm chopping. But you just put your little table insert in, which I showed you this on the last video, how it goes, hooks right in there. And I just store it over there by my door. And you can just slide this over. And now you have a surface to eat. Um, sit down and, you know, look at your videos, watch a movie. You know, I have an external hard drive for my Surface Pro, so I can sit here and watch a movie. But it's kind of cool. And I just stored my little butane stove over there for now in case I want to make a cup of tea or something. Now, again, this is for a rainy day when you don't want to be outside because it's crappy weather. It's cold or whatever, overcast and or you just want to work inside for the day you don't want to really go out and do anything you just want a lazy day as you can see teddy is kind of enjoying this lazy day he has his little spot he could still see outside and he could see out this window here now obviously i'm right beside my house so there's no view here but normally when you're camping you have nice views and i have my mosquito netting and i put it up and normally i do have my back window open but like i said it's kind of windy today but so this is the mode that I set up in for day mode. This is my day mode setup. Um, that way, you know, my bed is kind of put away. It's still out, so I don't have to pull it out. All I got to do is put my foam cushions back on, throw the sleeping bag on and my, my blanket on, and we're good to go for the night. But during the day, I don't want my bed set up. I want my table set up so that I can sit at my laptop. I can watch movies if I want to. I can do editing on my videos, which I'm going to be honest, y'all. I don't really know how to do yet, but I do plan on learning how to edit videos and getting more skilled at all that stuff. But this is pretty darn cool. This is better than sitting in your living room. I mean, my, my chair... Like I'll try to get out here and show you how comfy my chair is. I mean, this setup is amazing. Like I have a little afghan on my chair. You can see, you know, the little rug. This little rug is wonderful. I have a little brush. Like some of you have these vacuum cleaners. I just use one of these little brushes. And I just, you know, brush it out. Or I take this rug out and shake it every so often when you're in a really dirty campground like I guess if you were in the desert where all the rocks are you would need to have one of those vacuum cleaners but you know you can even wipe your upholstery down yeah it's kind of cool and then I just store it here beside my chair my front pass my front driver's seat but like you can see how cool this setup is I mean when I pull this out it comes right across in front of my chair so I can sit there, I can edit movies, I can watch movies. Me and Ted can just chill out in the van. I don't have to go outside unless I want to. And I have my little burner stove there. If I do want to make a cup of tea, I can just reach over here, reach down here, get my little kettle out, you know, get my little Yeti cooler, has water in it with my little Pure Pot inside put my tea on and enjoy a cup of tea. I mean, it's just so hands-on. It is just a wonderful, wonderful setup. So yeah, I strongly recommend this kit um, to people. It is so durable. Like I said, you got your water tanks down there. They're filled up. You can fill your tanks pretty much. Most campsites have potable, have water. And with this um, capsule that I got, you can use that to purify any water that you would put into your system. So you don't have to carry all those big water bottles, those big gallon water bottles in your van. I just ordered a Thule um, carrier for the top of the van. I'm gonna keep my tent in there. I used to store it over there along the side, but I ordered this Thule carrier to carry my tent and you know my shower tent and my bigger stuff, um, my camping chairs, that kind of stuff. I can stick all that in there. I just ordered it. So my van will pretty much be the way you see it now all the time. It's not cluttered. It doesn't have a lot of stuff in it. 
my clothes, my shirts and dresses are gonna hang off the side there on that rod. And the rest of my clothes are underneath my chair. Um, and the middle drawer has my pajamas. It'll have my pajamas and stuff in it. And then I bought this cute little hanging pocket organizer. It's really small pockets and you can hang it on your curtain rod and I could put all of my bras, my exercise bras, my panties and stuff in there. And that'll be for that. So, you know, I will have such a good system. I won't have anything um, out of reach. Everything will be easily accessible. And then I have like a bathroom bag. It's called my spa bag. That's going to hang right there on the side of the curtain rod, right above my Jackery. And that's going to have all of my stuff for my sink in the morning, like my toothbrush, my cleansing for my face, um, you know, my moisturizers, uh, nail manicure stuff, all that is going to be in my spa bag. So it's easily accessible. If I want to brush my teeth outside in the morning, I can, or I can do it from the inside. So that's going to be where I keep my, my, um, you know, my stuff for the, for the morning routine. Um, I was going to put it in one of these drawers, but I thought, why should I do that? My sink is in the back. I should have it near my sink. You know, like when you're in your home, in your bathroom, you don't have your bathroom stuff in your living room. <laughs> you have it in your bathroom. So basically that's gonna be my bathroom. Now my toilet is under here. You can't see it, but my portable toilet is back there behind that bin. It's a little black, I don't know if I can show it to you guys. I showed it to you before in another video, but it is an awesome little toilet. It's a little black, I'll try to pull it out here, show it to you if I can. Oh, my table is blocking my, so here's my toilet right there. And inside of there, I have kitty litter. I have those Bia Blue tablets and those elephant bags so that I can use that for number one. I have a yogurt container or for number two, I have a yogurt container for number one, which is basically for urine and that is awesome. Most of the times I'm at a place where I can use the public facilities, but if I don't have access, I love these drawers, you guys. I took them out of one of these Sterilite uh, stackable things. They're really big and deep. Oh my God, they slide on my carpet wonderfully. I can fit so much stuff inside of these. And then my milk crate over here is gonna be for all the stuff you know, like my first aid kit, my Mr. Buddy in case I need it. Anything that you normally don't really use a lot. And this is gonna be used for spare clothes and stuff like that. But most of my clothes are stored under the chair and they're gonna be stored back here on this rod. So I will have such easy access. So let's just say I wanna sit here, you know, I wanna have my coffee just made my coffee. You guys watched me make my coffee. I just uploaded that video, by the way. So now I'm sitting here, cheers, have some, it's so good. That's what Minnie Van Lee does. I love watching her videos. She is the bomb diggity. Like she'll give you a cup of coffee. She gives you food. <laughs> I always feel so freaking full when I watch her videos. I feel like I just ate everything she ate. But anyway, she's the bomb diggity. She's like my favorite, favorite um, YouTuber. Up here I have my, I move my little plants to that little ice cube tray. These are fake Ikea cactus. And I put them in that little ice cube tray on the front of my van. You would not believe the amount of compliments when I pull into a restaurant or anything like that. People, like young people, young girls and stuff, they go, oh my God, where'd you get these little plants? And they want to get into my van and they want to touch them because they think that I'm growing cactus in my van. I wish. I wish I could be that skilled. But those two black cushions, like I said, from my bed, they're just laying up there on top of my passenger seat and top of my driver's seat. The passenger seat is still free for Teddy to go back and forth and visit and look out that window if he wants to. But you can see what his favorite thing is, is just chilling. Wherever I'm at, that's where Teddy's at. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I just wanted to show you my day, day setup and table mode. Have a blessed day.